I believe that we actually do have a threat to democracy in this country, but unfortunately, it's not the threat to democracy that Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz want to talk about. It is the threat of censorship. It's Americans casting aside lifelong friendships because of disagreements over politics. It's big technology companies silencing their fellow citizens. And it's Kamala Harris saying that rather than debate and persuade her fellow Americans, she'd like to censor people who engage in misinformation. This idea that there's censorship to stop people from doing threatening to kill someone, threatening to do something, that's not that's not censorship. Censorship is book banning. We've seen that. We've seen that brought up in Minnesota. A group gathered on the state capitol grounds in St. Paul and said, we're marching to the governor's residence and there may be casualties. The only person there was my son and his dog who was rushed out crying by state police. That issue and Mike Pence standing there as they were chanting, hang Mike Pence. Mike Pence made the right decision. So, Senator, it was adjudicated over and over and over. Did he lose the 2020 election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking their mind in the wake of the 2020 COVID situation? That is, a damning, to, that is a damning non-answer. Has she, it's a damning non-answer for you to not talk about censorship. Obviously, Donald Trump and I think that there were problems in 2020. And I'm as surprised as anybody of this coalition that Kamala Harris has built, from Bernie Sanders to Dick Cheney to Taylor Swift, and a whole bunch of folks in between there. And they don't all agree on everything, but they are truly optimistic people. Is that we have the greatest country, the most beautiful country, the most incredible people anywhere in the world, but they're not gonna be able to achieve their full dreams with the broken leadership that we have in Washington. They're not gonna be able to live their American dream if we do the same thing that we've been doing for the last three and a half years. We need that we have to increase security in our schools. We have to make the doors lock better. We have to make the doors stronger. We've got to make the windows stronger. And of course, we've got to increase school resource officers because the idea that we can magically wave a wand and take guns out of the hands of bad guys, it just doesn't fit with recent experience. So we've got to make our schools safer. Do you want your schools hardened to look like a fort? Is that, is that what we have to go? When we know there's countries around the world that their children aren't practicing these types of drills. They're being kids. We owe it to them to get a fix. These are yeah, I sat in that office with those Sandy Hook parents. I've become friends with school shooters. I've seen it. Look, the NRA, I was an NRA guy for a long time. They used to teach gun safety. I'm of an age where my shotgun was in my car so I could pheasant hunt after football practice. That's not where we live today. Pangshiru 365天,天天抗光抗老化,是我的保养日常,你呢? Care,抗光清爽高防晒凝露。